Hey folks, this is Vincent Natalie with Dan's Gaming Addiction, and once again, we're going to play Escape Simulator. Today we'll be doing the Steampunk DLC room, The Greenhouse. Let's just jump right into it. Alright, so you are a ghost. Yes, I sure am. Alright, well, <laughs> let's figure this out. Um, seed electricity, seed magnetism, so it looks like we'll be doing something here. What was that? I broke a vase. Oh, okay, as one does. <laughs> Upon entering a completely new room, let's just start breaking stuff. Oh, yeah. There are flowers on this wall that may be a clue to some kind of uh, puzzle. Mm -hmm. Little secrets to growing your best plant ever. Energy plants. Growing Virtus Fructus. Okay. So this book may contain information that we'll need. A valve box with a four-digit code on it. Um, okay. Oh, here's the button. Should I press it? Hit the button. I pressed it. What did you? Ooh, oh, what is this thing? It's a telescope. Uh, oh, I can. I can make the picture clear, but it doesn't like. Here, if you want to look at it, I wonder All if right. this can be adjusted. Can we move this? Ah. Unless these are supposed to spell out numbers or patterns. Interesting. You see that? Yeah. Hmm. Well, one looks like a a cone on the right. I bet you maybe that's the solution. That looks something. like I bet you it is too. There's a cone on the right, looks like a ribbon on the upper left, and then on the <laughs> bottom left it's like I don't know what that is. Well but, this is up your alley. There's a chess box right oh, there. Oh chess box. <laughs> Alright, well I'm assuming that each bish or each piece is gonna have its own coordinate. I bet you we have to figure out where on the chessboard, although there's no J's on the chessboard, we're going to get some information as to, like, what each one should be. Like mm -hmm. the bishop king. So we need to find a chess-related thing. Uh, capacity. Box oh, here, here it is over here, this chess case. Okay. And I'm just going to, I'm going to bring it over here by this table. Yep. And then we're going to look at it. So can you interact with the sliders while I read off the coordinates? Uh, sure. Okay. So the bi the white bishop, is that the first mm -hmm. piece? Yes. E2. E2. Yep, as an Edward. What's the next piece? It is a black king. C8. C8. Mm -hmm. Yep. What's the next nice. piece? White castle. The rook. Uh, E1. Yes. The castle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. The knight. The black knight. That is on F4. F4. That should do it. Yep. It lit up. It lit up, you say? It just lit up. See the button that lit up? Alright. Did that yeah. do anything? Uh. Ah. <laughs> hmm. I wonder if this attaches in some way to something else. Maybe... Like, maybe it's supposed to go on top of something? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool. It's an alloy mixer. Okay. I don't know, is there like something we have to insert it to? That's what I'm looking like. So it lit up yellow. Okay. Unless I got a coordinate wrong. Was it... Okay, no, I can't readjust these, so this must be correct. I bet you that goes on to something else. And, all right, so what are you doing over there? I saw this note, it made me laugh. Mm. Uh, we classify the leaves by how many tips T they have and how many points their veins split V. Okay, <laughs> um, the number consists of four parts, A, B, C, D, where A, B is equal to T times V and C, D, oh my gosh. Well, <laughs> yeah. okay, fun. So A, B, is so is there a an a b somewhere on this chart like where's the a b and is there an a coordinate somewhere because it looks like these are pressure gauges and the like i wonder if this is for something else could be all right um i i did find this um the slider note and the slider uh, puzzle box. I think I can do it, maybe. Slider. B is larger than L, S is larger than I, E is lower than R. Oh, but look at that. they don't have equal numbers. 
So I'll leave that to you. You, you sure? Yeah, go for it. No, I'm not an expert. What are you talking about? You like these kind of puzzles. I do. I do. So D is larger than O. Sure. It's larger than I. Okay. Okay. Yeah. The leaves by how many tips they have. Okay, so I wonder if that's related to like is this this puzzle? A B is equal to T times V. So is there an A and a B that feeds into this somehow? That's four. Got to figure out how this all works. Huh. Books. All right, so this lit up. I solved it, and this lit up. Okay, so I'm guessing... Yeah, see, there's a vowel. I wonder if these are, like, minor pieces to a larger... Like, we put all of the puzzle pieces... Mm -hmm. Like, here's the checks, chess box, there's that... Um, what if it goes to this there's thing a valve here? box here, and we're gonna need the same thing. Hmm. Um, what is this now? Um, okay, micro GMO 400. All right, so I think that's what this is. Used MGMO machine, okay, to produce an augmented vertus fructus seed. Step two, you'll need to enhance the seed using the capacitor machine. Um, okay, I think I saw a capacitor machine somewhere. Uh, where's this capacitor? It was like a circle. <laughs> Sorry. What, what are you doing? I'm making a mess. <laughs> Good. So we have to put something on top of this micro GMO machine, I think. Yes. I could be wrong, but step two says to put, enhance the seed using the but. Step three, I'll, okay, so, it, hmm. All right, so we need to, machine to produce. So we need to figure out this og, og, yeah. This is oh, hard. here's another box, a stars box. Stars, you say, where'd you get that at? Under the table here. Oh, I bet you that was the, uh, okay, so we got the, I know the bow was one of them, and mm -hmm. the, because that was like a cone shape. Uh, one was the, oh gosh, the bird, I think, and the telescope. Um, I think the bird was the upper left, the bow was on the right, and there was something else. Where did you find those solutions? Okay, so you mean this here? Yeah. So if you, if you focus the thing, there's three images. Okay. On the right, it looks like a bow. Yeah. So you would click the bow button on the puzzle box, right? Oh, okay. Um, the top left one looks like some kind of bow, but I'm not sure. Uh, something with... Looks like a crab. <laughs> yeah, that might be a crab, actually. Um, mm -hmm. And the other one is some kind of gun or... A giraffe? Maybe? Yeah, that that could be the giraffe, actually. You're right. Okay. There you go. Whoa. So that lit up as well. So I'm going to okay. put that puzzle box near this one just to show that we're doing all of them. And I like <laughs> okay. how this chair is just in the way of everything. Although, Sorry. Right, there's a red wire. Is that is that going to something? Uh, oh, yeah, back here. Huh. But it's locked at the moment. It's locked. Yeah. I wonder if we have to take out all the plugs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's, there's a button. Uh-huh. It opened. All right. Fruit energy extractor. Uh, let me Ooh. see if that's part of the steps here for... Uh, capacitor. Yeah, I bet you we have to energize the fruit and then put it in there to energy. I don't know. Um, I'm still trying to figure that part out. Um, okay. Actually, hold on a minute. Will this fit over here? Can this be picked up? No, it has to stay there. 
Oh, um... I wonder if we're supposed to splice plants together to... Oh, there's three. But there's four numbers there. I mean... Hold, hold. Oh, here's this. The capacitor. So, we have Good. to... Alright, so step one. Use the MGMO machine to produce an augmented this, um, uh, Vertus Fructus seed. So this that, Vertus Fructus seed, where is that? Is there anything this, up there? This pink flower is the Melva Sylvestris. I know that. Oh, okay. Um, but how do we get the... How do we get the Virtus Fructus seed from, like, what do we combine to make that happen? Flower um, pot, dirt... There's a ton of flowers down here. Um, there, I broke this thing and there's like a ton of flowers. Okay. Uh, keep looking. Uh, three, four, five, six. Seems like they're all the same though. Uh -huh. Capacitor. This valve box is still... Unknown. Did we have... Uh, no. Actually, hold on. So... The number consists of four parts. Mm -hmm. T and V. Okay, fine. But where are these leaves? Uh, is it... I mean, there are leaves on this, but they don't look anything like... Um, oh, oh, oh! What if I put... Okay, never mind. That, that's a fruit energy extractor. I have to wonder if we're supposed to put fruit in there. This is a rare plant fruit... Virtus fructus produces fruit. It is the only known energy plant. Um. Uh. Oh. Okay. Okay. But we're leaving it as the plant will not need enough energy. Use MGMO machine. Right. To produce an augmented virtuous. Where is the MG? Right oh, in front here of you. It is. Right. Yeah, that's what I was trying to figure out. I wasn't sure what what buttons to hit. Like to. Like um, I don't understand what buttons to combine to make this happen. I wonder if there's a plant somewhere. Teacup. Let's try the teacup. No. I don't think that would work, but okay. Fructus. Okay. I feel like I'm missing something here. Yeah. Oh. Four. Capacitor machine. Four, one, five. There's a seed somewhere. What about this shovel? This tool? Um, I don't know. Four, one, five, and two. These are the numbers on. Okay, so four, one, five, two, but I. Let's see how the. How'd you. Well, if you if you keep messing with these, look, there's a two there. Uh, where? Oh, okay. Um, I just don't know the order yet. I'm I'm still trying to figure out the order, but um. Four, five, one, two. Is it, are those the numbers? Well, the four starts up here. I wonder. Oh no, that's the position. Look, there's four gauges. It's telling us which numbers go in what order. The second number is four. Yeah, it's five four one two. Did you already open it? I'm sorry. I, I lit it up. <laughs> How did you do that? I did a guess. <laughs> I see. Sorry. I'm sorry. Well fourth digit okay, well, there you go. <laughs> I did it the unfun way. <laughs> I see that. <laughs> well, I still figured it out and that's that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Yes, yes. Um, you, you did great. Yes, I love it. <laughs> um, I still haven't found any tokens, huh? Yeah, I have not found a single token yet. Uh, okay. So we got all these puzzle boxes done. I just don't know where the heck I'm supposed to put them. Yeah. Um, I, there's a speed we're missing. I think. Makes me wonder. Like, all of these devices are to make this fruit thingy, but I don't know... And, and there's this clue over here as well. We classify the leaves by how many tips they have. And... Okay. So I wonder... 
leaves. Are there leaves on any of these? On this flower, the pink flower, there's six leaves. And these, all those flowers look the same. Does that have anything to do with it? I don't know. But we classify the leaves by how many tips they have and how many points their veins split. How many point? Mm -hmm. Okay, so... I don't see that here. I, yeah, I'm, I'm looking I'm for... Just... I mean, these plants here don't really have prominent splitting anything. Um... Oh, oh, oh! No. Hold on. Silver, <laughs> copper... You got really excited there for a minute. I really did get excited. Silver, copper... There's no leaves on these flowers. They're just flower heads. Um, what about the chart here? Does this tell us anything? Mm, it's kind of blurry to really tell what that is. Yeah. Um, I'm dying to use this dirt, this tro trouble. Can you, can you something. dig? Mm, no. Well, here's the thing. By putting something in here, seed, ele seed electricity and seed magnets, I wonder if we're supposed to, like, generate something here. But the question is what? Is, are there seeds? This is a hard one. Yeah, it's just the seed that we can't find. I, I feel like we're so missing something and it's so simple. Probably. <laughs> Do these boxes have any seeds in them or anything? Mm -hmm. And what's that? But like, what's crazy to me is that... Yeah. This is purple. Hold on, are these even it? Three, six. No, I guess that isn't it. There's a ladder up here. I wonder if that gets... Cala Argentinas? Um... Huh. What the heck? There's a ladder. I just don't know is maybe we can get up there. Where's the ladder? Um, I wonder ladder. if it comes down after. Probably. I we're still in the first part. Yeah. Wishful thinking. I'm I'm looking for something. Okay, where's that trough trouble? What if it's used on one of these plants? Mm. All right, let me check this uh, what about there. these boxes? Like, there's more boxes underneath the table. No. Use the MGMO machine to produce an augmented fructus, fructus seed. Fine. But how do I use it? What buttons do I hit? And what does this fructus look like? You'd think it would be... So maybe a combination, maybe it's just the way, way it looks, like cherries and, um, if I had to guess, maybe something round like an apple. And there's a stem there that maybe, oh. Okay. Oh. You found a token. Found a token. That and uh, something with two, like that's the apple, right? Now, what else, what other things would there be? Two leaves, two leaves, there's that, there's that. Maybe the color red? I got one. What? So, with this micro GM, take a look at what I'm doing. Yeah. We're combining... We're, so, the middle is the end result, and we have to hit the buttons that make it... make the shape. Like, this one on the right here mm -hmm. looks... has that long part. The strawberry yeah. is red, so that worked, and then the apple has two two leaves. Oh, jeez. So, that was one. So, we have to solve all three. Okay, cherries. Cherries, the grapes, because they're purple. Mm -hmm. Um... I'm thinking... The spiky plants? Or the strawberries? Stra I would do strawberry. They... There we go. There you go. And then this is a banana, clearly. And then pineapple. pineapple. And then this. 
There you go. Oh! Look at that. You got the seed. All right, so the seed goes. So step two was to put it in here, I think. You'll need to enhance the seed using the capacitor machine. All right. So the capacitor. So it's okay. I put it in there. So it's giving us shapes. Um, oh, I no, wonder if it's a pattern we have uh, Yeah, to so start with heart. S heart, circle. Circle. Star. Squ square. Square. Diamond. Diamond. Moon. Di uh, diamond. Triangle. Diamond. Triangle. Pentagram, I think. Or hexagon. No. no. Okay, let me start over. All right, we've got heart. Circle. Star, square, diamond. I can't. I can't do both at the same time. Okay. Let me. Let me call it out. Okay. All right. All right. I'm trying to find the button and then keep an eye on this, but I can't do it. Yeah, it's tough. Okay. All right. Heart. Heart. Circle. Uh huh. Star. Mhm. Mm square. Square. Diamond. Diamond. Moon. Moon. Triangle. Triangle. Hexagon. Hexagon. Yep. There we go. So we got that done. Mm -hmm. Now we bring it over to this machine. Uh, I think. That's what the book said anyway. Uh-huh. And then here in the book, it says that um, the optimal alloy yields conductivity of 8. Silver's 13, copper 7, gold 5, steel 2, and graphite minus 4. So we have to have those numbers equal to 8 somehow. Um, okay, so wait a minute. Um, gold, graphite, and copper. Try gold, copper, and graphite. No? Submit. You got okay. it. So you just had to get the numbers to equal eight. Yep. All right, now we got the seed. Now what's step four of that book? Step four, it says, you need to place the enhanced seed in a special growing pot. Right there. <laughs> Right now, oh, this is where those puzzle boxes go, I think. Ah, because we completed them. There you go. Pretty sure. Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> okay. Oh, the bottoms have shapes on them. Like oh, these yeah, are circles, they do. so the circles would go here. This is a star. And this one is square. And then this one over here is the di triangle. Uh, triangle. Yep. Hey! Oh, a tree. Oh, there's the ladder. Oh, snap. <laughs> cool. Uh, we have some... So, do we have to look at that tree and s compare it somehow? Like... Oh. Ooh, okay. Uh, I'm just pressing right now, sorry. Well, okay. So cool. here's the thing: there are circles on that tree, so yeah, I are. think the top button would be correct. It's a pattern, yeah. Yeah. So. X I M V C D. Maybe the shape of maybe an eye because it looks like an eye i mean and then is that supposed to be let me check the base since oh you're gonna go down there check yeah, the base is there like a shape on the trunk or something or? oh it's a c c there's a c in the in the okay in the hollow thing oh and the base is like squigglies squigglies squiggly lines got it <gasps> cool Something's happening. Oh, it grew. Oh, and these must be the leaves that they were talking about on that other puzzle. Oh, wait, we've well, got something over here. There's a four-digit code on that one. So, I bet you I bet, I bet you that's that A equal A, B is V, T, yeah. and all that junk. Um, so, I guess each leaf is the same. Okay, so... I'm guessing. So, yeah, it looks like every leaf is the same. So, there are one, two... How many tips do they have? Uh, that's what I'm looking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
So there are seven okay. tips to these. Seven this lead. tips. So A how equals many, seven. Well, how many? No. Well, yeah. A equals. No. T equals seven. T. All right, then so how how many um points splits. do their veins split? Yeah. So. One, two, three, four. Uh, well, five. I, I, I think it's five, but I'm not 100% sure. Because right, the let's... middle, if you want to count, but actually, no, these le this, this leaves different than, hold on. There's, there's that there. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. I think it's five. I think. Okay, let's do five. But if not, then we'll redo it. So the math on that. What was the? Um, you have a p times v, so seven times five. Thirty-five. Is thirty-five. So a a b is thirty-five. Uh, and c d is t plus v. So seven plus five is twelve. So uh, three five one two. All right, I'll I'll try it. Woo! <laughs> And then a new puzzle up here. Mm -hmm. There are dials, three dials, and it's, mm -hmm. yeah, so we're looking for, well, I wonder if it's supposed that to spell left. something. Well, one, two, one, two, weird. So. Oh. Uh, is this anything? No, never mind. Uh, so you said there were three dials? Oh, I wonder if it's the same deal. Well, no. Th there are new flowers on. Oh, um, the flower chart down there. That the okay. flowers on the wall. I see um a white one, with a gold center, and it's like a four as four. It's like a four leaf clover kind of thing. Aether Aethericum liliago. All right. Um, I wonder if. Is there an E and... What was it? E something? A Aethericum liliago. A-E-T-H-E-R-I-C-U-M. <laughs> is, so is it one word or two word? That was one word. And then the second word is liliago. So A-L. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, A okay. So I got one of them. Oh, okay. uh, so what we have to do is we have to find the three plants, the three the three flowers that are in this tree. Z and then Z rotate. A Z A is another one, okay. And the last one is. Let's see. Did you get the round? It's like just a round flower, gray flower. Yeah, I got that one. That's the Z A. All right. Um, I'll look for the other one. Oh, it's a five five leaf swirl. It's a gray white. Yeah, it's a white five swirl. Mm -hmm. Does it have a pointy middle? Uh. No, it's a round center, and the petals just sort of swirl around it. N O maybe. All right, I'll try N O. Mm. Oh, if it, it's it, is it yellow in the center? I got it. Okay. Was it N O? Yeah, it was N O. Okay. So something else just happened. Uh, blue leaves just uh, no blueberries just showed up. Can we pick these? Oh, I got a fruit. And then we put it in this thing. And huh? the energizer, maybe? I'm so curious. Fruit extractor. Give us some fruit. So, oh, key. <gasps> yeah, oh yeah look at that. Amazing. Pro. I don't know how much. Oh, we did it in time, too. Look at that. Oh, wow. Only, only one token fell. Well, that was pretty rough, though. I mean, like, for a minute there, I was completely lost. I had no idea what the heck I was supposed to do. <laughs> I love stuff like this. I, I love plant biology. It is so much fun. Mm -hmm. Punnett squares and all that jazz. You know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I just, you're just dancing. I know. Did you, out of all the steampunk ones so far, did, did we did the engine room recently. Did you like that one better than this one, or did you like this one the best so far? Ooh, I kind of liked the engine room just because it was a little bit more co-op-y. Mm -hmm. This one I feel like you could totally do solo. Yeah. Although, um, except for that memorization, you could have, you'd have to write that down and then... Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, it was good. I, this was probably my second favorite. Okay. 
Fair enough. Mm-hmm. That first one was kind of rough. That was like the gunship or something oh, with the cannons. Yeah, with all those boxes that we had to order, reorder yeah. or something. And we had to shoot the cannons in the right order. Yeah. In in the right, uh, mm-hmm. using the right timing. Yeah. I know you were getting so frustrated with that. You almost rage quit. Oh, I yeah. The one that I got, there was a science one that I got really frustrated with. The, oh yeah, I remember that one too. Yeah, it was a desync issue, and I just yeah. Anyway. So there we go, folks. That was the greenhouse. Uh, this again. This is the uh, steampunk DLC. The steampunk DLCs and Wild West DLCs typically last anywhere from a half hour, forty-five minutes per episode. All right, guys. Well, you, hmm? Oh, sorry. I was gonna say, how did you like it? Like, oh, it's fine. I mean, it. I was as long as I don't have to do complex biology, I'm fine. <laughs> uh, yeah. We got around it. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I I still like the Wild West theme better. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm still enjoying this. So. Cool. All right. All right, guys. Escape Sam. Thanks for watching. Catch you all next time. Take care. Hi, guys.